Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared and I'm excited to show you the new XL size CJRB Pyrite. It is available right now. I will link it down in the description. In my opinion, it's the best Pyrite because, and I'll, I'll go through it because the CJRB Echo was what I chose for the best CJRB between the Pyrite and the Echo. But the things that I loved about this and why I called this my favorite, this one now has. And we'll talk about that here in one second. But let's just take a quick look at it because one thing I really appreciate that they did is the size of the button lock. So even the size of the button lock is bigger in all dimensions it might be difficult to see on the camera, but it is. It's like quite a bit bigger. So the lock is more robust. I hate when I see companies do, you know, a larger version and they keep the same size plunge, the same size everything. It's like, it's supposed to be an XL, so it should be stronger, right? The stop pin should be bigger. All the little things should be bigger. So very, very happy to see that. And we do have T8 hardware instead of T6. Love that. Now this one's the all stainless steel one. ARRPM9 steel drop point blade, extremely ergonomic. I mean, this thing, you this thing's super comfortable. And that's, you know, just to bring it back up, the one of the reasons why this one beat out the pyrite for me, because in the hand, you see how this kind of uh swells out right here? That makes this one, in my opinion, in my hand, much more comfortable than the pyrite. Not that the pyrite's uncomfortable. I'm not saying that it's still very comfortable, but that little bit just offers you a little bit more in the palm. So I feel like it's facing forward a little bit more, you know, for as far as use goes. And then I love that I can turn it around and cut straps. I also like that it had a secondary deployment option with the front flipper. I absolutely love the Echo. Um, I'll link it down in the description too if you want to check it out. All these are super, super affordable. Like very affordable. Like Super impressive. That's all I'm saying. Super impressive. Like this one's like around 50, 60 bucks, 55 bucks. This is 65 bucks or something. 60, 65 dollars. So not a bad deal. Now this one's a titanium one with Damascus. So this one's quite a bit more expensive, but you can get this exact same version just just like this one where it's just raw um anyways for for like you know like i said 50 60 bucks something like that anyways so back to the xl really quick so the xl one um the the thickness is a little bit thicker now this one's quite a bit heavier because it is all solid stainless steel so the g10 one is a lot lighter i'm just gonna say that right now it is a lot lighter because they they used liners instead of thick robust steel scales so if weight is a factor for you but you want an xl this is a fantastic choice right here it's lightweight it's large very ergonomic but but personally for me, even though this one is grippier and you know, if you're in wet environments, this would probably be the one you should pick. But as far as me goes, this was the one I like. I like, I, I love the raw look. I, I love the stone wash from toe to heel. Um, I love the thickness. I, I, I like the weight. The weight makes it just feel super premium. Now it only is thumb studs, but the thumb stud action, listen to it. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it is, it sounds so good. It has like a nice thunk sound. The, the button or the button lock, you can hear it snap into action because it's a nice big plunge. So you can really feel that, that lock go into place. I like that. So as far as the, the blade goes, good geometry, relatively slim. It's going to slice really, really good. The button is easy to actuate. It is uh, slightly inset, so you do have to intentionally do it. Eh. I guess you possibly could disengage it, but man, you'd have, you'd have to really try. Um, I don't see it happening unless if you attempt to do it. But anyways, you know, like I said, th this blade shape, handle design, all of this is right up my alley. I love a good drop point blade. It is near a spear point, but it is a drop point. Very ergonomic handle. Like I said, T8 hardware all the way around, deep carry clip. And these clips, by the way, especially on this, the all steel one, is one of the best working clips. 
Try one of these. They are, it is so smooth in and out of the pocket. Like you will never tear your jeans with these. It's just so, cause the finish right here is so smooth. So the ramp, it has a perfect size ramp. Once it goes, you know, over the seam of your pants, you know, it's just, and it glides over the seam of your pants. They did do a lot of heavy milling in there. Now, just to bring back up the CJRB Echo, you can see the size difference between it too because the Echo, I think, was slightly larger than the Pirate. Yes, yeah, slightly, slightly larger than the, the Pirate, as you can see. Now, they do have the other versions, the premium versions coming of the Pyrite, but that's, you know, coming in the future. This was a Kickstarter thing that you could support if you wanted to, which is really cool. I like that they have all different types of versions, you know, for different flavors. This one's slightly contoured, fat carbon fiber, and S90V. Now, as far as the Pyrite blade shape goes, you can get this version with this handle, or the steel handle, sorry, because this one's titanium, the steel handle with this blade. So they do have two different versions. So if you like a reverse flick more than the, the, the thumb studs, then you can grab the one with the hole with the sheep's foot blade. So they have the whole sheep's foot blade and they have the drop point version. Both of them, all of them are available. Like I said, I will link them all down in the description. But yeah, I think this is awesome because one, the Pyrite was already the, my second favorite CJRB, you know, right next to the Echo. But now, now because, you know, oh yeah, did I even explain why? So what I was saying was that because this film filled out my hand right here in the palm when I'm holding it, this one does that now. It's so palm filling, it's large, it's, you know, you can just see. I mean, it's quite a bit larger, you know, in the hand. So it fills out the hand just like this one did. Now, if you are into more compact knives, I, I highly recommend the Echo, man. The Echo is an awesome, awesome choice. Same thing with the regular Pyrite. I mean, this is a great choice if you don't have one already. But this, I like, even though I love this size of knife, and I think that this is probably my favorite size, you know, knife, I love XL knives when I can get, get them when they're done right. Because, you know, there's a limit of which, like, how thick is it, how robust is it, how heavy is it, all those things that plays a part in whether or not it's going to be something you're going to carry around a lot and use a lot. This is the size that, personally, I love. It's, it's, it's large, you know, maybe even considered... You know, not quite an XXL, you know, but it's still a large knife. A 3.7 inch blade, I believe, so right under four inches. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the handle and the blade together, you know, you feel like it's very wieldable, you know, like you can uh, do some work with it without it being too big. Anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Until next time, peace.